Hey, so I recently went to an arcade kind of nearby where I live. It wasn't that far off. I just went there for fun and all of a sudden I saw an F-Zero AX arcade, which was really surprising for me because it's kind of rare and I'm a huge fan of F-Zero GX. It's my favorite game actually ever. And I always wanted to play an F-Zero AX arcade, but I never really, I mean, I knew there were some in the Netherlands where I live, but I never really tried looking for them or anything. And I could have looked up if they were in this arcade, but I, for some reason I forgot and I didn't really expect it. And then I saw it and I was like, <laughs> I was kind of freaking out because I was really excited about it. I went with some friends and, and they saw it and I knew that I really liked this game and that I wanted to play it. So they went there and I... I didn't even see it myself and then I kind of freaked out and it was really fun when I saw it. So this arcade, um, we paid for like three hours and then for 10 euros we like had access to all the arcades for three hours unlimited, you know. Like we didn't have to insert coins for the arcades, you know, it was just uh, unlimited, you know. So that was great because I mostly played F-Zero AX because of that. I played some other things, you know, because of course I didn't want to like play there all day. I wanted to let other people play, of course, and also there were some other fun things, so, you know. But uh, yeah, it, it played great. It was uh, it was weird. Uh, I had to relearn the controls a bit. Like, you know, it was driving with a steering wheel, you know, which was really different from a control stick. And I actually, like, slipped a couple of times, which I don't do that often in GX on the GameCube, because I play F-Zero GX so much. I've played it since I was, like, a kid, and I still play it, like, yearly. I just play through the story and everything. So yeah, this was a kind of a new experience for me. I had to relearn it a bit, which was that was really unique for me. I, I can barely remember learning the game because I was so young, you know, so that was surprisingly fun. It played a bit different actually as well. Like some vehicles felt like they played a bit differently because like I remember the Bunny Flash not playing that great in GX and for some reason I felt like I had more control over it in AX a little bit. It was weird, but overall it played similarly. It played the same basically. Um, there were only like 12 vehicles you could pick from, which was Captain Falcon, uh, Dr. Stewart, Samurai Goro and Pico, the four originals. And then like eight AX characters, which was kind of weird because there was one character that just wasn't in there from the AX characters. And those were, I mean, one character, but there are three in one car, you know, so Dyson and Jen, their vehicle is the pink spider. The, that one was missing and that was kind of weird, you know. Why not make it 13 in total, you know? But oh well, you know, it's not that big of a deal. My favorites from this 12 characters that you could pick from were PJ and Phoenix for the most part. I played them a lot and uh, yeah, those were fun to play. The version I played was the multiplayer version. I would still really like to find like the full single player version, like with the, the seat that moves, you know, when you're driving, that would be really awesome, really immersive and stuff. And I believe those have like uh, an exclusive time trial mode that this multiplayer version didn't have. But it's okay because it was a lot of fun to play with my friend. He he's played Zero GX a bit, so he knew what he was doing and that was fun. Basically, you just had to beat each other while also finishing the race in time. And yeah, that was really fun. I forgot to bring my memory card uh, because you can, you know, you can insert your memory card. And I believe that's like an easy way to unlock all the AX characters in F-Zero GX and the, the AX courses, but I already got those because I just played through the story, you know, and stuff. But there could be, I'm not sure, it could be like when you insert your memory card, it could also mean that you get some GX racers into the AX arcade. I'm not sure though, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go back in the future and I'm gonna try. It could also be that because it's so outdated that they like closed off the memory card slots, you know. I didn't really try, but yeah, I'm gonna go back and uh, see if anything still works and stuff. So yeah, there were only like the five AX courses and like I said, only 12 vehicles. So the content is a bit limited, but mostly just the gameplay was really fun. You know, I had a lot of fun. And like I said, it was fun to relearn the controls. And um, something I didn't expect was that the drifting uh, paddles, you know, usually they're L and R on the GameCube, but now they were in the steering wheel, which I didn't really expect. I thought it had to be something with your feet or something. And that was really surprising and it was really fun. And also something that was kind of weird was that the boost button was in the middle of the steering wheel, which meant that you couldn't really drift while boosting. So, I mean, you could, what I, what I kind of did was whenever I had a, left turn I tried to like boost with my right thumb 
and still hold the steering wheel with my hand, which meant that I couldn't drift with my right hand, but you know, it was a left corner, so that was okay. And the other way around, of course, like when I had a right turn, I just held the steering wheel with my left hand and the, my left thumb on the boost button, you know, so that worked, but it was still kind of clunky. And, but also I guess that's like in GX, you could just like boost like infinitely until your energy runs low, you know? And now you really had to think about when you should boost, like on, on straight path, like on straight paths, it was a smarter idea, you know? And I guess that's kind of how they designed F-Zero GX and AX, you know? But I, I don't know, in, in, in F-Zero X and GX and stuff, I like to just boost in corners, you know? So it was kind of weird that they made it kind of harder in this game, you know? Also something I found out was that snaking doesn't work in this game. I guess that's like a fact, sort of. I mean, I thought I've heard some people talk about how it's possible in AX. It's just a bit harder. But no, it's like I tried it, like the way it works in GX and it, it just didn't work. Like I put my acceleration up and I leaned left and right and stuff and it just didn't make me go faster. It was weird. So then I'm kind of wondering like, why is it in GX? Like if there's a way to have it not be that in AX, then why is it in GX? Like snaking, it's kind of fun, but it's like there is a version of F-Zero GX AX that doesn't have snaking. And I think it's better that way. So yeah, that's kind of weird. But overall, it was a lot of fun. And it's it's just like, I, I still kind of can't believe it. Like it's, it's my favorite game ever. And I found the arcade version, you know, that I was looking for. I mean, I wasn't actively looking for it, but I was kind of looking for it for years, you know. And they're becoming more rare and stuff. And, and I just found it and I played it for like two hours, I believe. And that's just insane, you know. I had so much fun and I'm going to go back, you know, in the future and bring my memory card. And if anything cool happens with that, I'll uh, add it to this video in the future, I guess. Or like I'll put it in the comments or something or may maybe make a follow up video. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly give my thoughts on my experience with F-Zero AX, you know.